What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. So it's like the weekend and I was going to film yesterday but it was like raining and super windy and you probably wouldn't be able to hear me in my shed. But today it's just windy, it's not raining. See over here how windy it is. Look at that tree. Look at that. But so I actually finished my steel cell mount. So I'll show you this right now. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with it to fit it in the car. Alrighty, so this is the mount. Painted it, looking nice. So what I got is some of this uh, like black, it's like a foam, like a hard foam, which I'm going to put there, cut around it, make it fit nice to fit, sit the uh, fuel cell on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut like around there so it fits perfect. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you when it's done. Alright, so I've got this cut and I got one of these tools that are like hollow, like a hollow punch. And you just line up the hole, put it on that. Give it a whack. Bam, look at that. Perfect hole. So, so that. Alright, so foam's all cut. I had to do it in two sections because uh, my big sheet wasn't big enough. So I made that rear section. All the holes are done, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the fuel cell on and bolt it down. Look at that, all done. So I got it bolted down. Uh, I use lock, like lock nuts on the bottom of these so that it can't like wiggle loose when I'm driving. So that's all done. So now I'm gonna try and fit this whole thing in my boot. So I don't know if you guys know, but I ended up painting my boot that over the last couple of days. Just kind of cleaned it and painted it. Just got it done. Um, didn't take me too long, a couple of days or something. So now that's painted. We'll put this thing in. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so I got the tank in. Looks awesome. I think you just see the bolts down there, four on each side with just a nut set into the rail. And then on this side, all four except for this one, little pesk. And if we zoom into that one, the hole's just off. So I think I'm just going to file out just like that side just there and make it fit. It's like just right on it. So, and then this, look how much room there is just there. Hardly any. But that's it. It's in. So I was going to put the pump, the pump's going on this side just here. I was going to put that in, but I'm not 100% where I'm going to put it or if I'm going to move it to the front here and put like a 90 straight out of the pump to it or run it here and just like run it around. But um, that's something I've got to work out. So right now, this is going to have to come out, but I'm not going to do it now. And yeah, and one of my mates came over when we were here and he helped me with this. He's like a wiring guru. so. We tested all these and found out what wire does what and labeled them so now I can go through and run a wire from each tail light and then run it into the cab. So that's what I can do. Alright guys, so I think that's going to be it for this video. I didn't have much to do and I didn't have much motivation but I thought I'd better get up another video. I think I put up like two this week plus this one so that's three. So I'm like super excited about that. Um, got a few more subscribers which I'm oh, just overwhelmed with that. So yeah, I'll probably going to order a few more parts tomorrow to finish off that fuel system got to get a few fittings and like a brand new pair of shears maybe i'm not sure the ones i've got kind of work but kind of don't so i'm not kind of hung up on whether i should just buy a new pair spend the money and get the proper ones to cut braided line or just use what i've got but anyways yeah thanks for watching peace